Hey everyone, it's James from the Fit RV, and I'm here today with an RV mod project and a bit of a product evaluation for you. So we are keenly aware of the sound levels coming from our air conditioners in RVs. In our last RV Lance, our bed was about 18 inches from the air conditioner, so maybe we're just stung by that experience. But in Lance, I think I replaced the air conditioner about four times trying to get the quietest air conditioner. Now, we have a new RV, it's a Winnebago Echo, and the air conditioning that is ducted, so it's already quite a bit quieter than what you would have in a typical camper van. That's a good thing. But I'm always looking for ways to make it quieter, and I saw this product. This is one of the rare products, the RV AC silencer from Wacko Products. And funny name aside, this is one of the rare products that I saw and had purchased within 15 minutes of becoming aware of its existence. And I did that for two reasons. One, like I said, we're always looking for quieter. And two, I understand how this product is supposed to work and I agree that it should work. So we're gonna install this in the RV today and we're gonna test it and see if it actually does work. And any good experiment or evaluation starts with the baseline. So we're gonna go out to the RV and we're gonna measure what we've got right now as far as sound levels. I've got two sound level meters. I've got like an old school sound level meter and I've got a phone app and I'll show you how you can take sound readings in your own RV as well. So let's get going. Okay, so here we are in our rig number one, and the air conditioner in here is a GE ducted air conditioner. And this, they have different models of the RVAC silencer depending on the brand of air conditioner you have, so that matters. The other thing is this is only for ducted air conditioning systems, not for a direct vent like one in a van that would blow straight down, not for that kind. So. First thing we need to do is get a baseline of how loud it is. And this is how I want everyone, like in the universe, to measure the decibels of your RV air conditioners. A very, so that we're all at least kind of talking the same language, okay? So the first thing you do is you get sort of arm's length away from the air conditioner in whatever sort of orientation you can. And you're gonna hold your sound level meter. In this case, I have two. So I have an iPhone app and the one I am using is from the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, NIOSH, sound level meter. And that's what I'm gonna use here on my iPhone. And you have to do the decibels A-weighted, which kind of discounts lower frequencies because they're less annoying. And you hold the microphone at navel level and point it at the air conditioner. That's how you're gonna do it. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna get some uh, decibels and then I'm gonna cross-reference it with this guy to make sure that it's reading accurately, but we'll use these for the actual numbers. So here we go. Oh, and you should measure just high, cool, full blast because who cares about anything else, right? And it's 100 degrees out, so I think full blast is good. Oh, it's 100 in here. <laughs> so there we go. Now, the air is ducted. It's coming out the ducts, but most of the noise you're hearing is coming from that air intake, and that's where this thing works. So there we go, it's starting to get cool. All right, now I have to shut up for a second and then we can see what the, uh, what the sound level is. I get about 60 to 61 decibels when I'm not talking. So now we're gonna try it with this one. This has got me coming in at about 63 decibels, so we're in the ballpark. This one's reading a little higher by like two decibels or so. Okay, well, we got it down to 99 in here. So we're going to work fast. We haven't had the air on in here all day. So this is going to get hot. So first step, remove air filter. And the air filter that comes with it is just this little foam thing. It's not the greatest. And retainer, locate the screws that hold the cover to the mounting plate. Remove the six screws. Remove the six screws. Now, this thing has a vent here, and you can open that vent, and then it's pretty much gonna dump all the cold air. This is the cold air, comes in this way. If you open this vent, it's gonna dump all the cold air right here, which might be great if you're sleeping, but it does very little for the rest of the coach. So, that's one thing. So one thing I noticed about the instructions for this is it actually has you tape this hole up. Because in addition to cold air coming out of here, a lot of noise can come out of there as well. And it can also lead to some inefficiencies if air leaks around and then cold air gets sucked back into the warm air intake. So 
We're going to tape that up, and that is, I believe, step number four with the aluminum tape provided. Cover the rectangle cold air duct hole on the mounting plate along with any other holes not needed for the air intake. So, they give you some aluminum tape with this. I'm going to be very sweaty by the end of this video. It's already back up to 100. All right. one any other hole I can find I am uh, sealing up so I'm thinking that in addition to potentially making it quieter this will also make the air conditioner a tiny bit more efficient because we're eliminating some air leakages and there won't be any cool air coming out where the warm air is going in one two three four five six that's I see some other areas inside that might benefit from being sealed off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while I'm in here. So that would be this area. <sighs> okay, we're back up to 102. And I just went nuts with the tape in any place that was a potential leak point between the cold air and the warm air side of this unit, I went ahead and put the tape. So now we are sealed up. No cold air going to be coming this way. All the cold air now being forced through the vents. And this is a little bit of a barrier to the noise, but the noise comes in next. Place black base onto the mounting plate, lining up the six holes and the air intake. So let's tuck these wires back up in there. Hmm. Well, we'll assume that one's not needed. <laughs> okay. So, like that-ish. Okay. Insert and carefully tighten the six one and a quarter inch long screws. Don't over tighten. I'm just running these screws through to get them started so that it's not such a challenge. Because they're a little... thicker than the screws that came out. Won't show that. I'm going to set my torque setting way low so I don't bust through and strip out any screws or anything like that. That's one. Two. I got about like 20 minutes left. Um, insert filter into the four screws and loosen the four screws that hold the filter on. And then, okay. So this is another, where to go? Benefit of this uh, RVAC silencer. Is the filter that came with is just this piece of foam, right? The filter that comes with the AC silencer is this electrostatic filter. It's a better quality filter. You can actually rinse it out. This would kind of disintegrate after a few rinsings to get the cat hair out of it. Okay, we had to run the air for a little minute. It was getting too bad. The cameras were overheating. There's a little addendum for GE air conditioners because the holes are in slightly different locations. And what that addendum says is use the original screws in these two holes and then drill two new holes at these locations, which I am going to do now. Hot. All right. Now we put the filter in place. One, two. Oh, it's one of these things. All right. There we go. Come on. I got to loosen that one.
There we go. Yeah. There we go. Now, the way this thing works is it creates kind of a baffle. So instead of the air being sucked straight up into the thing like it was before, now the air is going to come down, do a jog towards the rear of the coach, and then be sucked up through these holes towards the back. That's kind of, it's no longer a direct shot. And there's sound absorbing material here and here, which should also further help with the sound. So I get how it's supposed to work. I just, you have no idea how anxious I am to turn the air on right now. So here's hoping this is a winner. the final tightening up by hand so I don't crack anything. So here we go. It's snug up to the ceiling. Two. All right. We are installed quick. Let's turn the air on. Oh. All right. Qualitatively, I can already tell you, that's a good bit quieter. Like, I don't know what the decibel readings are going to be, just due to the frequency response and whatnot, but it's much less annoying to be right here than it was before. And Steph is nodding her head behind the camera that it is less annoying. Wow. All right. I like it. All right, let me get the, uh, let me get the decibel meters and we'll take a final reading and see if we can give it a go. But based on what I'm hearing... I'm calling this a plus. All right. Once again, assume the position. And let's just call this, we need a name for this way of measuring the air. We'll call it J-weighted decibels because I'm naming it after myself. Um, so arm's length from the, uh, from the air return, hold the uh, sound level meter at navel level and A-weighted decibel readings and point the microphone at what you're trying to measure. Yeah, I'm getting decibels in the 58 to 59 range. Let me cross check it with this guy. And that's given me something 60 to 61. So it's the same two decibels higher than it was previously. But even if the decibels didn't work out, I'm going to say that's, that's just less annoying than it was. That's, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. It's just a simple baffle. I understand the concept and it works. And hopefully the uh, air will be a little bit more efficient now that we've taped up some of those uh, places where air could have leaked. So there we go. That's it. It's staying. So the RV AC silencer. I'm giving it a thumbs up. James, Bit RV. See you later. Bye.